John Cena in the mid card was legendary. That US title run was absolutely wild. So we're just gonna go through today and we're gonna revisit and we're gonna reminisce on that title reign. So if you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. John Cena in 2015 was different when he dropped down to the mid card. When he got a hold of the United States Championship, that title felt more important than the WWE Championship. Bro was getting deep into his bag during his matches, pointing out different moves like tornado DDTs, sunset flips, and springboard stuff. That if he had this in his Seeing that shit live was absolutely insane. His moveset during his Super Cena run, he would have been even more OP. Bad. Cena started his chase after the US title when Rusev interrupted his backstage interview, snatching the microphone out of Tom Phillips' hands and got to yapping in Russian. Cena pushes him and <laughs> they start getting each other's face until other superstars come to break it up. Rusev that year was built like a monster with him being on an undefeated streak with the oh, US title. God. Once Rusev stomps on your bag, go ahead and just tap out before he puts the accolade on you because you're getting out of it. Imagine this version of Russo going against Icy Title Ring Gunther. Ooh, book it. Bro, he has, bro, Rusev needs to come back to WWE, bro. He done, he done got rid of his little piece with him. So, I mean, he might as well come back home, gang. Oh, let's fix the camera just a little bit. Boom. He was disrespecting America, and him and Lana would be shouting out Vladimir Putin during segments. Yeah, Cena that first shit was wild. At Fastlane, but Rusev <laughs> ends up defeating him by submission. Cena asked for a rematch at WrestleMania. Rusev refused, so Cena had to put him in STF and keep the submission hold on him until Lana agreed to give him his rematch. Cena got his get back by defeating Rusev in a hard-fought match and his undefeated streak to capture the United States Championship by WrestleMania 31. Now, nah, because I remember when Rusev debuted, bro. Like, he was such a force to be reckoned with bro he was an absolute monster now after like i want to say 2017 that's when i stopped watching wrestling so i really don't know what happened to him after that i'm about to go do my research on that but yo back then when that nigga did that uh what was i forgot the name of the move but when he was a lot niggas in that bitch yo ggs bro it was over with bro oh i hated him so much at the time but he was so good seeing cena with the u.s title was something you had to get used to seeing because you felt he was bigger than the championship itself on the Back. March 30th edition of Monday Night Raw, the John Cena U.S. Open Challenge debuted. Cena explains the purpose of the U.S. Open Challenge on the WWE Break It Down podcast. The theme of the U.S. Title Open Challenge for me was for the performers to showcase what they could do, and I wanted to make it a little commercial for the person challenging me, because if you were to answer an Open Challenge, that's kind of how I got my start. So I wanted to get the same opportunity back, and I think this was no different. Dean Ambrose was the first guy to answer the John Cena U.S. Open Challenge. Dean had a good show in the match Dean and Ambrose, looked like he was man. going to end Cena's first day with the championship. Cena hits a roll-up at two adjustment on Dean to get the 1-2-3 to successfully retain his first title defense. Stardust answers Cena's open challenge the following week. Imagine what? Cena in 2015, nine years from now, Stardust will end up becoming the face of WWE. Him and Cena had a good little match. Cena had one of his open challenges in the United Kingdom and Bad News Barrett had to come out and represent. I had got- Yo, what, what happened to Wade Barrett's run? Like- how did he end up, you know what I mean? How did his little WWE in, uh, not fucking end. How did his little run end, bro? Like, I know he's on commentary now, but like, oh, what happened? Bro, that bad news bear thing was so fire. I love that shit. Damn. Got flashbacks from the Nexus days. Cena got the win over bad news bear in a hard hitting match. Rusev won his rematch for the US title, so he attacked Cena backstage with a Russian Damn. chain, which led to a match at Extreme Rules and a Russian chain match. Cena Damn. got the W. Kane will answer one of Cena's challenges, and I don't know why Unk was even out here. Mm. His open challenges were for the Young Bulls. This is when he was corporate <laughs> in line with the authority. He wrestled in slacks and elbow pads. Nigga, that oh, was we... bad in ring accessories, I ain't gonna lie. This is the Kane <laughs> I grew up on. Cena ends up winning and sends Kane to the bed to get Triple H some coffee. As the U.S. Open Challenge continues, a Hall of Famer made an appearance. Goldberg's biggest op, Bret the Hitman Hart. What? He was there to endorse that hometown boy. When hey. Oh, I was finna say, ain't no way Unk out here challenging for the title, bro. Nah, uh, Bret Hart ain't even Unk at that point. That grandpa, bro. Ain't no way grandpa out here, you know what I mean? Trying to get a title shot. Hell nah, boy. One of NXT's top superstars, Sami Zayn. Oh, I'll sing Sami's song as he comes out. This was a good ass match. Cena won the match, but if WWE decided they wanted Sammy to defeat Cena for the US title that night, I don't think anybody would have complained. The next week, Adrian Neville answered the US Open Challenge. This match right here shows Cena can't deal with anybody, because Neville was fast as hell. Oh, In defeat, God. Cena was making stars, elevating the roster. Rusev tried for the second time to catch up the US title from Cena. This time in a I quit match at Payback. Rusa should have just forfeited the match. We seen Randy Orton handcuff Cena to a ring post, beating with a kendo stick. Girl, I remember this match. That was my first. 
second ever pay-per-view still watch. Still walk a WWE champion. Things got more interesting on the May 18th edition of Monday Night Raw when Kevin Owens came out to Cena's Open Challenge. I Kevin remember Owens this. was already presented like a top star while holding the NXT Championship. Cena tried to give Owens some better advice, but Owens cut him off saying, I've been doing this longer than you. The only difference, I'm just getting my break now, so don't ever give me advice. He tells Cena they will end up fighting one day. He cheap shots Cena. He power bombs him. And then he steps right on the US title. They were really building up Kevin Owens to be a threat to the US title. Cena had another successful title defense against Zack Ryder before him and Owens were scheduled to go one on one at the Elimination Chamber in a champion versus champion match. The day of the match, I'm not thinking Owens is going to defeat Cena, but he actually ends up doing that clean. Defeating Cena clean was Damn. still a huge deal at this point. He's 46 years old today and can't get a singles win to save his life. Still wanted to go stuff. Cena and Owens <laughs> ran that is back. Yo, yeah, why, why, why they have my boy? Why they have my goat out here jobbing, bro? Bro, like, ah oh, man, he. Solo beat this man, and he's been like, what, 0 and 36, 0 and 37 ever since, bro. Like, this nigga hasn't won a single match, bro. <laughs> like, they got him out here jobbing at anyone at this point. Hey, I, I respect the, the tribal air. I'm just saying, bro. Like, it's crazy. Bang for the United States Championship this time. The match was similar to their first match at Elimination Chamber with Cena winning this time, making it 1 1 between them in this feud. Cesaro and Sir Cena's open challenge back to back weeks because the first Damn. one was interrupted by Kevin Owens. Cesaro was so underrated in WWE. Beast too. The lack of mass skills helped him back from becoming a main event. Am I seeing a pattern here? I'm starting to notice a little pattern. Everybody had, you know, almost everybody that John, that John Cena beat. In this little, you know, open challenge gimmick shit. Stuff for like two people. Yeah, you know I mean, they all in other promotions, man. I'm just saying, bro. Like, this Cena run them off? No, I'm playing. <laughs> Better than Dota E. Damn. He's another god out that anyone would have complained if he was the one who defeated Cena for the U.S. title. The right. Cena and Owens feud came to an end at Battleground where Cena was the one to come out on top. Damn. Seth Rollins, the Dota E champion, was acting cocky after retaining his title against Brock Lesnar at Battleground. Cena interrupted Seth Rollins and told him actions speak louder than words. And people lost respect for the WWE title because of him. And those same people gained more respect for the US title. Self tells Cena to don't talk to him like he's a little boy and that the US Open challenges don't mean anything. And he could keep on doing them while he be the champion. As Seth go in between the ropes trying Jeez. to leave the ring, Cena tells him go ahead and do like you always do. Run away from every single challenge that you had since being the so-called champ. He raised the US title saying the champ is here. To follow up saying it's not the title that makes the man, the man makes the title. He calls Seth that's a joke eight. and tells that's, him if he wants to fine. be a man to step up to him. Cena throws the mic and a title on the ground to wait on Seth to make a move. Seth took off his shirt just to not stand on business and leaves. Oh, the you a bitch. Raw, the authority kicked off the show. Seth was calling himself the greatest champion of all time because of his money to bank cash in at WrestleMania and told the crowd he was walking out of Battleground as the WWE the champion. The greatest champion of all Cena time, Cena comes buddy? out and tells Triple H That's and Cap. Stephanie McMahon. He don't mean to interrupt him, but he do for Seth. He calls Seth the Eric and Jackass. All the Hall of Famers <laughs> that held the championship, you really proclaim yourself to be the greatest? Cena says he disagrees and calls him a joke and that they need to find out who is telling the truth. He said he's not going to ask Seth the damn thing about it because he asked him last week and he tucked his tail. He asked like Triple H and Stephanie instead. He told them how they like to do stuff for business. So how about for the first time ever, we see Seth Rollins become a man and we have a match. Seth Rollins versus John Cena. That was true. Hey, that is true. During that little time when Seth was running with the authority, bro, they made Seth look like a little bitch. I'm just saying, bro. Seth used to let them fight all his battles. Like, what's the name? Uh, J and J Security. Like, all them, bro. Seth, oh, I couldn't stand that nigga during this time, bro. I swear to God, bro. I, I just wanted to gouge that nigga's eyes is out, bro. Every time I saw Seth, bro, I just wanted to gouge his eyes out, bro. He did a great job playing it. Man, man, just turn this nigga hill, bro. Cause I don't like his baby face work either. <laughs> but nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. This this is WrestleMania. You know, he he he's the MVP. I give him that. I give him that. But Seth, I need another monstrous heel run out of you. Not you know what I mean, your boy. Even though I'm in my baby face area, I'm always you know what I'm, I'm always gonna root for the heel. So I mean, I need another one from Seth, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. And don't be a bitch this time, bro. Cena for the WWE Championship tonight. Seth refused and told Cena to shut the hell up and that this isn't like your little United States Championship. This is the Dota E Championship. You have to earn your opportunity. Stephen Man says we need to put it to the people. She asks the crowd if they want to see John Cena versus Seth Rollins for the Dota E Championship. The crowd chants. She says, for the first time ever, I say no. She agrees with Seth saying Cena has to earn his opportunity. 
Triple H steps in and says, we will have Seth Rollins versus John Cena for the United States Championship because that is what's best for business. Cena and Seth have a fire match later that night. Cena got his nose broken during it and Damn. was still able to finish the match to retain the United States Championship. This now made Cena the number one contender to challenge Seth for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Damn, his nose Since Seth's huge. title was on the <laughs> line, he wanted Cena a US title on the line as well to make a title versus title match. Watching the match live, the crowd was more towards Seth Rollins. Cena and Seth had to get deep into their bags in the match. Seth hit a roll-up attitude adjustment on John Cena. Cena pulled out the figure four leg lock on Seth Rollins. They both were cooking, but WWE ruined the ending having John Stewart come out to call Cena the match. What? Seth wins the U.S. title, becoming the first man to hold the WWE Championship and the United States Championship at the same time. Shout out to Seth Rollins. He was having an all-time run that year. And this is arguably him at his very best before the knee injury. Damn. Cena recaptured the U.S. title at Night of Champions, but it didn't hit the same like it did the first time when he won it back at WrestleMania. Seth only had it for a month, and when Cena won the title right back, he only had it for a month as well, dropping it into Alberto Del Rio at Hell in a Cell. Alberto Del Rio? Alberto Del Rio, because he was already established. If this was going to be Cena last time holding the U.S. title, they should have just had a younger talent who wasn't established defeat him for it. To this day, the United States title still hasn't reached that level of importance it had back in 2015. WWE is trying now to bring back hype to the U.S. title with Logan Paul's big social media influence. The John Cena U.S. Open Challenge was important for several reasons. It provided an opportunity for lesser-known wrestlers to showcase their talent on a big stage. It kept the U.S. Championship scene dynamic exciting, and it allowed Cena to elevate the championship and its prestige through his high-profile matches and feuds. Overall, it added an element of unpredictability and excitement to WWE programming. I'll be down to see Cena do this with the one title he hasn't held before retiring to make him a Grand Slam Fast champion. Need that IC the Intercontinental right. Heavyweight Championship. Yes, Thanks for bro. watching, and I'm out, bro. Peace. I definitely would love to see Cena get one last run with some gold. No matter if it's the IC title, the WWE title, the Heavyweight Championship. No matter which belt it is, I would love to see Cena with one last title run. W video from wrestling, bruh.